If you're looking for a melt-in-your-mouth breakfast treat, then this crepe recipe is for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These crepes will be ready before you know it. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna measure one cup or 120 grams of flour. I'm using my scale for the most accurate results. A crepe should be light and fluffy, and if you add too much flour, it's gonna be dense and just not perfect. You want it to be a beautiful treat. This batter mixes right into our blender. You could use a food processor or even whisk it up by hand. It just has to be really smooth. Into my blender, I'm adding three quarters of a cup of whole milk, three tablespoons of melted butter, one tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of a nice vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt for contrast, that one cup, one cup of flour, and lastly, two eggs. You should always crack your eggs separately so that you don't risk getting shells inside of your delicious crepes. In you go. Pop the top on, and we're gonna blend it up for about 30 seconds. Little bursts, you just want it to be nice and smooth. Okay, keep an eye on it. Once you see that it's nice and smooth like it is here, we are ready to put it into a bowl and let it chill out. If you're making crepes in the morning, I suggest you make this the night before. Your batter will keep in the fridge for up to 48 hours. Once your batter's rested, it's time to make your crepes. And I wanna talk about some of the crepe paraphernalia I have around me, because it's all optional, but it's handy. So first off, we have a crepe pan. It's flat, it's not nonstick, it's very heavy. If you want though, you could definitely use a nonstick pan. I know everyone has those at home. Those will work too. Crepe knife and a spreader. So this is just a dowel on a stick, and you're gonna spread the batter into a paper-thin layer. These crepes cook in 90 seconds. This is a crepe knife. We're just gonna use that to lift up our crepes. These are the tools that are great, but you can make these at home with things you already have. Okay, heat, medium. Turn it on. Melt three to four tablespoons of butter in a small bowl, and we're gonna be brushing this pan liberally and often. This butter is gonna make Everything goes so easy and it'll be delicious too. The first crepe is not your beauty crepe. And a lot of people freak out when they do the first one because it's like, ah. Either the pan was too hot or not hot enough and it's like kind of tough or uneven. You're getting used to the process. It's okay, we're gonna fold them up. No one's gonna know and you can always eat that one later. <laughs> Put your hand over the pan, like is it getting hot? You want it to be hot because it needs to cook in about 60 seconds for the first side. If you hear the butter sizzle like that, you know it's ready. We're gonna grab about a quarter of a cup or 60 ml of our rested batter. Okay, pour it on and just be confident, don't worry. Immediately use your tool and start spreading it out. Gently, there we go. And you can see mine is not a perfect circle. That's okay. Basically, if you have a pool in the center, you're just squeegeeing it off the center. That's actually not so bad. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Keep an eagle eye on this. You can see it's losing its shine. It's almost lost its shine completely, which means that it is not a liquid anymore. As soon as that's ready, we're gonna lift it up with our crepe knife. Once again, be confident. Oh, no, no, not ready. Be confident. Oh Lord. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> we did it. This could have used a little bit more color. My pan needs to be just a bit warmer. That's why it's okay to have a first crepe that's not perfect. This one will be cooked in just like 30 seconds or so, so don't walk away. And you can always take a little peek too. Okay, that one's ready. Let's use our knife again. Okay, there we go. On to the next one. Lots of butter, there we go. One quarter cup. Let's see if this one's nicer. You can also kind of just do this with the pan. And it'll start spreading the batter without disturbing the crepe. It's actually much easier in some respects. My inner perfectionist is dying because I want it to be a perfect circle. <laughs> when I lived in Los Angeles, there was a crepe place right next to my mom's house. It was actually a Japanese uh, crepe place, but they made amazing sweet and savory crepes and I would always visit them. So it reminds me of home right now. I wonder if this is harder because I'm left-handed. Yeah, they have a big grill though. It's like a big, like a griddle pan and they go. 
I miss that crepe place. <laughs> if you're wondering why my crepes have an uneven heat, it's because I keep dragging the pan over here to be on center. The pan should actually be right here. <laughs> We're gonna repeat this process for the rest of the crepes and then we get to assembling them with some delicious things. Ooh, that's hot. So this is important. As you cook, you're gonna wanna adjust the temperature. That could mean turning the burner down or even taking your pan off heat. Just like when you're making batches of scrambled eggs in the morning, if you do that, it's a similar idea. My crepes are all done. Let's get to assembling. Here's the deal. The easiest way is just to fold them in quarters. They look very elegant. Stack them and then dust with powdered sugar. Serve with berries. That's easy, but let's take it up a notch. So instead, let's get a fresh one. Add some whipped cream to the center. You could add berries as well on the inside if you like. Bananas, if that's your thing. Now we're gonna roll this forward, roll this back. Add a little bit of chocolate ganache, which I already have prepared, just like this. And to finish it off, a grating of orange zest. It wakes the flavor up and chocolate and orange is an amazing combination. If you like this recipe, check out my breakfast playlist. So good, I'll see you in the next video.